In this video, we're gonna talk about how to grow your upper back muscles. There are roughly 20 upper back muscles and the most superficial, the ones for bodybuilding, the ones you're gonna see mainly are gonna be the lats, which is your largest upper back muscle. It's gonna be your traps, rhomboids, and the teres major, which functions as a secondary almost lat and has a lot of the same functions. More like a, it could be almost considered a rotator cuff, but um, it does help with that bulge sticking out here. So we emphasize this in our back training, okay? Um, good, so the first exercise we do is gonna be some form of chin up or heavy rowing exercise. The reason being is the lats are the fastest switch of all these four main upper back muscles, okay? So I'm gonna go here, seven reps, nice and slow tempo, try to hit exhaustion. If you're really strong on these, you should add weight, okay? Full stretch. <laughs> if you don't have access to a weight belt and plates, simply add time under tension to make it harder, okay? You can also change your grips to a weaker grip if you need to make it harder for yourself. Like if seven chin-ups just pumping them out, it's too easy for you. Go wide grip, make it slower. You can even do different lean away type chin-ups. So for me, when I go really slow with this close reverse grip here, this is also gonna emphasize a bit more of a different part of your biceps. Whereas if you go underhand, you're gonna hit that main bicep muscle a bit more. Wider grip, it's gonna hit a different portion of your lats closer to the grip, you're gonna hit more of the lower inner portion of your lap. So now we take our, catch our breath and we're gonna go right into heavy one arm rows. Start with the weaker arm. Now we're a little fatigued, so we're going a little lighter and we're gonna hit eight to 12 reps on this one. I always bring it lower on my ribs Instead of too high, I don't want to pinch my neck on this exercise. I'm incorporating a little pause here to get really good contraction. I don't know how many that was. I think it was 12 or something like that. Here we go. Notice if you come to the side here, you'll notice that the dumbbell makes contact with both ends, okay? And it's beneath my chest, all right? That's gonna hit the lats and those mid-back muscles a bit more. As I get fatigued, I can go a little faster. My favorite for the, for the third exercise in the ATG muscle back portion is gonna be something like a face pull. So since I have access to a gym, with a cable machine, I set this knob right about chest level, put a good weight on there. And now I'm squeezing those rhomboids and traps while relaxing my neck, okay? I am not squeezing up, I'm depressing and retracting my shoulder blades. Those are the main functions of the traps and rhomboids, okay? The stronger your brakes are, the stronger these shoulder retractors are, the better your brakes are gonna be for throwing, punching, and just general bench pressing. If you're too weak in these back muscles, you'll end up having shoulder pain and some functional problems. Speed this up, because it's burning. Starting to hit that failure. You try to minimize body rocking. I don't know how many I'm at, but I'm gonna go to failure. Ah. So, if you hit failure, first, second sets, and the third set comes around, and you're just too fatigued to even be able 
to get within 75% of your first set. I probably cut it a day. I talk about this in other videos. It's a little pro tip to prevent overtraining. Okay, so once you've lost 25% of your strength from your best set, cut the workout. I don't care if it's your first set, third, fifth set, whatever, okay? Good, so we just finished our first set. And now I wanna show you a couple alternatives to those main movements that I just showed. First one, one of the best ones, I actually love this exercise, especially if I'm fatiguing or I've been doing chin-ups for six weeks straight, I wanna switch it up, is a cable pull-down, okay? So you can set this as heavy as you need it or as light as you need it. And this also allows you to strengthen different grips, okay? So on this one, I like to go wide, really focus on re depressing and retracting those shoulder blades. Okay, full stretch, nice and controlled. It really hips my upper and outer lat area there. And then the next one I like to do, or if you don't have access to that, or if you have a severe imbalances, okay, between arms. So I spent a lot of time doing the one arm cable pull down. As a quarterback, I spent 15 whatever years throwing and creating damage and tightnesses and stuff. So using a one arm cable pull down, is very good if you have old injuries or used to be a thrower of some sort to help balance out those uh, deficiencies and balances, right? So another great tool, if you can, can't do enough chin-ups, pull-ups is an assistance machine. These are not super common, but if you do have access to them in a public gym, this is a great tool. Set the weight you need. You can, again, play with different grips. Remember, different grips are gonna emphasize different areas. You're working all the same muscles, but you're putting an emphasis on a different portion. I'm gonna do a few more here, wide grip. I have assistance on there. Full stretch, Just squeeze those shoulder blades. Full stretch. It's really important, especially if you're new to bodybuilding or just getting started or, or came coming back from an injury, that you really don't think about how much weight you're doing or what, what weight's on the bar. You need to think about the tension on the muscle that you're trying to target. This is far superior, far more important for long-term progress, okay, and to prevent injuries. So. You could almost take any exercise if you just really focus and concentrate mind-muscle connection to the muscles you're targeting and hit failure in that motion, this is what's gonna get you good muscle growth where you want it and with proper form and proper function. It's gonna prevent damage down the road. So many guys try to pump up a heavier dumbbell or a heavier squat, but they'll shortchange the range or they'll start to recruit wrong muscles and break their form, and this leads to injuries and problems down the road. If you don't have access to a cable machine for your face pulls, a good variation, probably the best would be a bent over lateral raise, okay? You're trying to squeeze that mid back. It may feel like you're not getting high enough, but as long as you're squeezing and fatiguing those rhomboids and traps in the middle of your back, you're doing the right thing. Do not pinch your, sh your shoulders to your ears, keep them down, and squeeze back. This is really good as a finisher for those back muscles. Remember, palms facing each other is gonna be more mid-back pronation, thumbs facing each other. It's gonna be more rear delt, which we'll actually talk about in the shoulder video when we address how to grow shoulders, okay? So in the beginning of the video, I didn't talk about the functions of these back muscles that much, but you know, the lat has a ton of important functions, like even some rotation and pressing motions and shoulder adduct adduction, okay, bringing your, your arms in. So again, just think of these. This is what gives one good posture. You know, it's responsible for the depression, retraction, stabilization of those back muscles. So if you're a puncher, thrower, or want to bench more, you need to make sure you have very strong and properly functioning upper back muscles. Quick side note. It's the erector spinae, which is the main lower back muscle. There's many, the many layers to the back muscles, by the way. There's 20 of them, about 20 of them. And 
there's like the, super, the, the outside ones, there's middle ones, and there's deep ones, okay? So tiny ones, big ones. The actual biggest back muscle is the erector spinae, bigger than the lat, and it does go up all the way to the base of your neck or to the top of your thoracic spine. And so it's very important for the development of also your upper back, but it's considered a low back muscle. It's trained more with lower body posterior chain movements, so we'll address that also in a different video when we talk about that. So I hope this helps. Share it with someone who doesn't know or is new to bodybuilding or is having some issues with those upper back developments. And one more thing I want to talk about. Remember, you can always play different grips, different hand positions, different, uh, you mentioned use a towel, different things, okay, depending on what you're trying to go for. So again, thank you for watching. Um, the full program is on atgcoachingonline.com under the physiques tab. ATG muscle, there's going to be ATG power building, ATG shred, if you're trying to lose body fat as fast as possible. If you do any of those programs, rotate through them, message me if you have any questions. And also, make sure to check out my supplement company, serponutrition.com. The best intra workout EAA, essential amino acids formula, and electrolytes in one. I got a muscle recovery, which is zinc and magnesium, vitamin D, etc. Check that out if you want to support so I can make more videos to help you. And yeah, thanks. See you next time.